these players obviously have probably fought a lot of other JPs in practice, but we talk about practice, mm. not a game, not a game, mm. not a game. We talking about practice. Mm, not today, bro. Yeah, the practice so. is over. It's time to shine. You can practice all you want, but under those hot lights on any given Saturday that it is today on the LCQ, who's really going to perform? And right now, Julio is having the tournament of his SF6 career because I don't want to discount his runs <laughs> in the past. He's had amazing runs in Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 4, I believe as well. But right here now in Street Fighter 6, he is peaking at the right moment. Yeah, exactly. And this is what these LCQs are about, you know? Sherry talked about Zen's moment. Yeah. Zen just kind of came out here and surprised us. Maybe this is like Julio Fuentes' tournament. You took out two very strong players, and what if he just keeps it going after beating Seo and just dominating through the top 16? But I mean, look at this start for Julio so far here. I was going to say, it's a good start so far, right? Beating him to the punch of the spike as well. He's just really been able to maneuver around the JP neutral so much better than his counterparts. Dude, they really gone for the yin-yang look over here. We got the black <laughs> yeah. versus the white Ooh, react here. to the command grab. He's I've like, been around for a hot minute, but don't test my reactions like that. <laughs> Come Julio's on now. Julio's like, look, I like that command grab. Mm -hmm. I know when you're going to try it. Oh, just backing up right outside that down forward heavy punch range. You see that forward dash right there, trying to get aggressive. I like this from Julio, Ooh. but ah, it looked like he might have tried to catch him landing with that. Oh, nice check, but both of them now with that crouch medium kick. But here we go, Zayo getting the hit. Now trying to set up the departure right there. You see uh, Julio just walking out of the range of the departure, so he doesn't have to worry about the spike. Oh, tried to parry that time, gets thrown, and that's a big drive chunk drain. We were talking about that when Seo was playing his last match. Remember that he likes to go for that last second uh, parry against the jump-ins, and I said, you should empty jump throw, and that's exactly yes. what Julio did. Very smart, especially when players like JP players whiff a button before that, they're always mm -hmm. looking to parry after. Oh boy, look at all these, oh, oh the overhead, Julio, game at number one, he's won game away from getting into the vaunted top 16 on winner's side wow. of this LCQ. In a pool that included Mago, Nemo, Ryusei, Seo, who he's playing right now. Let's see if Julio could be the one coming out on top. Mm -hmm. Again, just trying to chip away at that drive meter, nice check from Julio, he's willing to burn himself out because Gets nice damage, he gets that full screen pressure, gets to put up the departure, be able to buy himself some time while his burnout regens. Yeah, this is a dangerous situation though, because again, those are plus two spikes now. Yeah. Because he's burned out, so after he's locked, ah, oh, and here we go. You got drive impacted against the wall. There's the frame kill with the empty jump. You see now Julio Yolis have his drive meter back, but it looked like he's trying to hold up on the setup right there, and Sayo perfectly timed the meaty. All right. Julio right now trying to seal this deal, but Sale trying to tie it up one to one here. Just needs to take this round. He could have also tried to backdash if he in there rather than hold up. It's true, it's true. Yeah, no striking ball and backdashes in this game. So if you try it and you get hit immediately, it just looks like you got hit. Ooh, yeah, big punish right there, but uh, you know. <laughs> I was about to say, unfortunately, JB can't convert on. I should say, fortunately, JB <laughs> can't convert off of that at max range. But here we go. We got the Lelushka coming in here. Going to go for the mm. big damage, attacking the drive gauge here. Yeah, Julio's got to block this. You can't go for the drive uh, impact right there because that would have been a lock situation. Julio, he tried to catch him committed to something with that jump, and he says he's going to go level two off this stand, heavy punch. Yeah, he's going to be able to get away from nice. that. So all it is is just building the space. That's what that level two was for, to get out of the corner. But Sale here, oh, no, you tried to go in, and Julio all ready to wow. go. That almost evened up the life just off I that know. punish counter anti here. Trying to sneak in. Yeah, he had a respect. Ooh, that was such a sick setup. I didn't even realize it was his own spike. Oh, Level one. one. Not going to be enough to kill. Oh, oh, and then he beats the ghost startup with the down forward heavy punch. Julio, one round away from top 16, winner's side. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, that was an input error. Maybe try to get a crouch button, and he was just crouching beforehand. <laughs> but there you go, Sale just with a casual stroll up there, gets the throw. But again, Julio Fuentes walking out of the range of the portal right there, of the departure, just to kind of take it out of the equation. Well, you got to, right? The departure awareness, how you use it, how you play around this, the biggest part of playing against JP. Oh, oh. it was. He did it too late. It was still able to punish counter. Yeah, he just thought that go. he would be confident enough to keep walking Block in string. and he would catch him. Yeah, and he goes for nice. Yeah, drive reversal out, right? You got to time it real nice and early so you can catch that first crouch medium kick. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he got caught by that. And that's going to be a combo. But oh, what was, was that supposed to be a crouch light punch like that? I feel like Sao had an execution error there because look at the damage that Julio got off of that. Yeah, Julio, it's a big uh, window of opportunity that's open for him now. And he's he going for three bars. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a punish. That's that should be, be game. It. He should be able to get the level three off of this. Right there, level three. That is done. Julio Fuentes defeating Nemo, Mago, and Sayo all in a row. They're going home with the letter at the end of their name. <laughs> yeah, Donuts. I know, right? Julio in winner's side top 16. Man, you know, I mean, Daigo and Tokido and uh, better watch out too <laughs> yeah, right now. Real. because. You, you you do not want to fight this guy if your handle ends in an O right now. Oh, man, Julio Fuentes looking on fire. Like I said, this might be just the tournament of his life, the way that he's playing today. This is what a run from Julio. Yeah, like we talked about, right? He's had some tremendous runs in Street Fighter games past, but in Street Fighter 6, this has got to be easily his best run so far. What a time to peak beating some uh, real heavy hitters on his way to qualifying for top 16 winner's side. Yeah, I mean, with as uh, JP heavy as this bracket is, like if you sit here and look at, oh, look, we've got Nemo, we've got Ryusei, yeah. we've got Seo. Like Julio is probably not the JP that you would have expected yeah. to come out of this one, especially fighting so many of these JP mirrors. Yeah, we have some strong JPs in North America. Obviously, Brian F, Flux Waves, Julio himself, but the ones that get the attention are primarily out of Asia, and of course, like Lord Venom, a couple in Europe as well, but for Julio to go up against three, or, or against, excuse me, two Asia JPs and Mago and defeat all of them for this winter side berth, and he's got to go up against Problem X as well. <laughs> Ooh, that is a different flavor than he had to deal with in the pools, I'll yeah, tell you what. I mean, 